Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back for another video. Today I wanna to do something a little bit different. I wanna to explain to you what my investing strategy is for the remainder, almost the remainder of 2023. Towards the end of 2023, I'm going to start loading up on specific cryptocurrencies, specific altcoins that I think are gonna do very well over the next bull run, euphoria phase, whenever that may be. But between now and then, I'm doing something pretty low key, pretty safe. But in my opinion, this is an attractive investment strategy, and I wanna share that with you. I think the the reward to risk ratio is, is pretty, um, significant. It, it's high, high reward, low risk. And, and then, you know, and there's going to be a time when I'm going to want to do high reward, high risk, but right now high reward, low risk. And it, it's simply this, I'm selling covered calls on Robinhood with, uh, with Marathon Digital. I have no opposition to selling covered calls with other, um, with other stocks. Marathon is a Bitcoin correlated stock, which is why it's attractive to me because I believe that Bitcoin is pretty low in price right now. And at some point we're gonna see new all-time highs with Bitcoin. So if this is correlated with it, it's, it's generally correlated. Um, I, I think it's, it's an attractive one the price will rise, which with covered calls, I want to find uh, stocks that I believe the price will be higher a year from now, two years from now than now. Marathon Digital is one of those. And so here's my basic strategy. Let me actually pull up pull up a spreadsheet here. If you don't know anything about options or about calls, uh, I think you'll be able to understand what I'm doing here. So you can actually see, let me go back to Marathon here. I have... Um, I, I don't have a ton of money in Robinhood. I just have for basically for this strategy, I have sold um, this many calls this week. I, I had um, two calls. I, I sold two calls at a ten dollars strike price. Uh, those sold for somewhere like forty two dollars per call, something like that. Um, ten and a half. $10.50. I have three calls selling at that price. And those were in the $20 range. Actually, I think it was closer to 30 at the time that I sold them. Um, right now, if you're to buy them on Wednesday of this week, these expire on Friday of this week, you could buy it for 20 or you could sell it for $20. Um, I have three $11 calls and then four $11.50 calls. When I sold those calls, the $11.50 calls, I sold them for $11 per call. And so you, you do the math there and that is that's money that I get in my account right away immediately when I sell those calls and so for the 1200 shares that I have I made something like $250 selling those calls uh, that's just for this week the prices are different every week depending on the volatility the implied volatility the higher the implied volatility the more likely you are to um, the the not more likely the the higher the price of the call because the more risk that you are taking on selling the call and so what happens here somebody buys a call. If the price closes above $10 this week, which it is currently very close to $10, $9.87, I will sell, I will, I have agreed to sell 100 shares of Marathon Digital at $10, a price of $10. So if the price goes up to $15, I'm selling it at $10 no matter what. And same deal, $10.50, I will sell 300 shares of Marathon Digital if the price closes this week above 1050. Do I have a problem with that? Actually, I don't because here's the deal. The shares that I bought for this $10 call, I bought them for less than $10. Let's say I bought them for $9.50. I don't remember, I think the price that I paid was actually a little bit under $10. But let's just say $9.50 for these 200 shares. That means I'm selling, I bought them at 950, I'm selling them at $10. I'm getting $100 profit on those 200 shares. Plus I'm getting the premium, which was another almost $100, about $180. So if it goes up, I, I, you know, if it goes up to $15, I'm bummed because, you know, if I wanted to buy back in, I'd have to buy back in at $15. I'd have fewer shares, fewer than 1,200 shares. But regardless, I'm making a profit. And that's the, the appeal with this covered call thing. And same, you know, for $10.50, I would have made, for those three sales, if I bought them at $9.50, I would have made $300. So I sell them at $15, I still made $300. Buying back in would stink. But that's that's the name of the game with this. I mean, I, I kind of I hate to say it. Sometimes I root against the price of Bitcoin and the price of Marathon Digital because I, I want to be able to buy back into this. And so I want to say this right now. I have twelve hundred shares of Marathon Digital. When I started this strategy, 
I had 500 shares. And so here's what I do. I sell every week. I sell the covered call. I sell the calls. And then I take the money that I made, let's say $250. And I buy, you know, at $9 and 85, 81 cents, I would buy something like $250, something like 26, 27 shares. And I would hold on to those 27 shares until I get another 100 shares that I can sell a covered call on. So I'm rolling the premium that I'm getting from selling the calls back in to the stock. Okay, so I started with $500 or 500 shares of Marathon Digital earlier this year, I, I think maybe around January or so. And, um, and I've just been building, rolling that in, rolling that in. I have also not just been rolling it in, I've also been putting something like two to $300 every week into buying more shares of Marathon Digital. My average cost, don't pay attention to my average cost here because there were times, there were weeks that went, Bitcoin went up and so I had to sell my shares. And so this is my average cost of the 1200 shares that I own now. If I were to look at a true average cost, I, I bought in around $5.50 or something like that, had to eventually sell those shares as the, Bit, you know, as the price of Marathon went up. And so my true average cost would be more like $7 or something like that. But um, here's a spreadsheet showing what this looks like on a weekly basis, assuming some very simple things. It's much more complicated than this, but let's say I start with 500 shares, which is where I started, 500 shares. Uh, this, this is a, and uh, it's not, it's shown on this spreadsheet, but let's say I sell each call for an average of $20. All right. So an average of $20 per call per contract. That means for week one of that, starting at 500 shares, I would get a hundred dollars. I would then buy X amount of shares at the price that marathon was when I first um, started this strategy. It would have taken me from there six point six and a half weeks to get an additional 100 shares. And so then I would have 600 shares. And after that it would take 5.4 weeks to get to 700 shares. And after 24.3 weeks, I would get to 1000 shares. Again, very simple, very, very simple. Add the fact that I am uh, buying an additional two to $300 worth of this stock every week. It, it re greatly reduces the time that it takes me to get to 1,000 shares. So I'm at, at 1,000 shares. You can see this, it, it continues to go down as I'm rolling the premium back into this. 3.24 weeks, 2.96 weeks, 2.71, until eventually, you know, at around 3,300 or 3,400 shares. And again, this is an average contract of $20, which I'm actually averaging a little bit more than $20 per contract, but in an average contract of $20 that I'm selling, eventually I'm able to just from the premium get an additional 100 shares every week. And I'm just continuing, I'm hoping for a snowball. But what, you know, things can happen to, to slow the progress down and that, that those things did happen, but it's okay because I'm making, I'm still making money every week. The, there, there are two worst case scenarios with this. One is that the price explodes out of nowhere. And so you're stuck selling your shares, let's say of Marathon again at, let's say, let's say next week I'm selling my, my options. I'm buying those shares, rolling it in. And next week we see marathon go up to $15. So the week after that, that Monday after that, let's say it's at $15 still, I sold my 1200 shares for let, let, let's just say, for example, $10 a share. So I have $12,000 that I'm now wanting to buy this, this stock at $15. Um, I'm only able to buy like something like 750 shares at $15 a piece. So I'm down from 1200, which is where I'm at now, back down to 750. So something like that can happen here. That is a, a negative scenario, but again, again, I'm, I, I have made money because the price went up. I got to sell it at the strike price. I made money off the premium and, but yeah, now I have fewer shares. And so, but so that, that's the, the first negative, not as awful of a negative in the months that I've been doing this strategy. I have, um, I've seen something like that happen, not extreme, like $5 moves, but I've seen something like that happen two or three times. So nothing too crazy. Every other week I'm fine. You know, the, I, I do sometimes have to sell the shares at the strike price, whatever, but it's not as drastic of a move, but eventually it's just snowballing so much that you're getting, my goal is to eventually get to 10,000 shares of this. 
And when does that stop? It essentially stops when I start fearing that this is not overvalued, that this is overvalued. And so here's my, my plan for this particular stock. Marathon peaked at about $80 on even when Bitcoin peaked November 12th, November 10th or so of 2021. I'm going to stop this strategy. If I see Marathon at $40, I'm, I'm moving on. I'm moving on to another covered call strategy. I will still have my, uh, my altcoins, my Bitcoin. I'll still have all of that, but I will move on to something else that I believe can um, provide me good returns with a covered call strategy, a, sp a different, a specific stock. And so what does that look like? I mean, well, it, it looks like finding finding the right stock. There's there's some great options. Uh, SPY, the S&P 500 ETF, actually does daily calls, daily expiration calls. That's pretty phenomenal. You can sell a call every day if you have 100 shares. So you need about forty thousand dollars. Let's you know. Let's say I have ten thousand shares. They're priced for marathon, uh, forty dollars. That means I have. $400,000 worth of shares. I mean, that's, you know, I, I could turn that into what, uh, eight, eight or 900 shares of spy sell daily covered calls on spy run the same risks for sure. And, uh, but, but be making passive income on, on, off those premiums. My goal is to be able to do this, to make enough passive income that I, I can live off my, you know, live off the, the, the premiums from the options. Um, that is possible. It's possible even with something like a hundred thousand dollars worth of stocks, uh, that, that might be on the lower end. If you're single a hundred thousand dollars on the higher end, $200,000, you could live very nicely from the passive income from covered calls. Um, I have not talked yet about the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario is pretty much it's the same thing. If you were just holding this stock is if the stock just crashed and went to zero, because here's something that Here's a, a big reason why I'm selling $11.50 call strike price, $11.50 strike price calls, because it's because I bought those 400 shares at a price between 11 and 11.50. I do not want to sell those shares for less than 11.50. I want to wait until it get back, gets back above $11.50 to, to eventually sell those shares. But in the meantime, I am still able to sell $11.50 calls. And like I said, I sold those calls for, for um, 11 cents this week. So that's $44 just from those 400 calls of passive income of income that I, that I, I made and you know reinvested the, the price in that. That's still pretty, that, that's pretty good for a weekly expired call. Um, now, there are some really interesting, fascinating things that you can do with this covered call strategy. Um, you can go to this website here, barchart.com. You just Google high delta options. And so you can see, I don't mess with puts all that much. I mean, at really at all, but I, I look for the calls here and just see like, you know, what are the ones that will get me the most premium for if I were to sell a call of that option. Right now it's something called FFIE. I don't know anything about it. I'm not going to look it up, but there is something that I looked up earlier this week called FGen. And again, I don't know much about this, but look look at here's here's an example of something that you can do. Something that I would say is pretty low risk with this particular stop stock. So this is in a July 21st, 44 days from now, July 21st expiration for a call. So you sell this call right here. You sell a $15 call. You, you buy a, th a hundred shares of this stock, $16 and 70 cents. So you're paying $1,670 for a hundred shares of this call of, of this stock. And you sell the call for $5 and 70 cents. So that's a total of $20 and 70 or $2,070. Or so you sell the call for five dollars for five dollars and seventy cents per share. So you're getting immediately five hundred and seventy dollars. That is a about a four hundred dollar profit. Let's say that this stock goes down exactly to fifteen dollars, or it, it just stays above fifteen dollars. You have made right away a four hundred dollar profit on this particular stock. 
Now you run the risk of this stock going to zero. Again, I don't know anything about this particular stock. I've looked at the chart and you know, I'll show you the chart here in a second, but it seems pretty low risk for making $400 on a, an investment that you spent 1,600 and as of right now, $1,674 on. You know, $400 profit, in, that's almost a 20% return in 44 days. The only risk is if this goes below $15. And if it does, all right, sell another call. The chances of it going to zero, based off of what I'm seeing from the price chart, are pretty low. Let me show you a five-year, let me show you a one-year price chart here. You can see, I mean, it's just, it's been pretty boring here. Just slowly climbing, slowly climbing, slowly climbing. It hasn't really had any major collapses here. Five years, five year chart, you can see it was, it was definitely higher um, a, a while ago. And this would have been a terrible time right here to have sold that call. When was that? February 12th of 2021. It would not have worked out in your favor. Um, yeah, you would have lost a lot of money there. And same here for uh, July 2nd of 2021. You would have lost a lot of money. But again, you know, let's say you buy $2,647 of this option of this uh, stock here and oh no, the stock price crashed to $13 and, and 27 cents, $14 and 35 cents. You can still sell calls for this one. It, they do monthly expirations. You can still sell calls every month and eventually get that back as long as the, the stock price doesn't continue to crash. So I, I would say still, even though you see a chart like this, it is low risk. And I mean, especially just looking at the last year, this is something right now you wait 44 days, you see this not go to below $15, you have made $400 on a $1,670 investment. Let's multiply that times 10. You made $4,000 in 44 days on a $16,700 investment. Let's multiply that by 100. You made $40,000 in 44 days on a $169,000 investment. That's, uh, th that's, that's a goal for me. Eventually there's certainly risk. And so I'm not going to put all my eggs in one basket, but I, I like this strategy. I, I like the safer one. This is, this is what I would say a safer one with marathon here, 1200 shares, hoping to eventually turn that into 10,000 shares. And as I'm adding more money to it, who knows, perhaps I could get there within a year. I haven't done the math. Um, the, the amount of time just rolling the, the additional shares that I buy with a premium from 500 shares to 4,000 shares is only 46 weeks. But I'm, again, I'm adding two to $300 every week. So that it's certainly less than 46 weeks. Um, there are certain things that you need to pay attention to for tax purposes. I am not a tax professional. I'm not a financial advisor, but um, I have I have figured out personally how to do this without paying taxes out the wazoo. But I just don't want to. I don't want to even talk about that. You need to look into that for yourself. I, I guess the only thing is that I'll say is, you buy shares for like I did for these four options for um, 1125 for Marathon. And Marathon then goes down to $9. Continue to sell 1150 strike price calls. Don't sell the lowest possible price call because then you're selling it at a loss. But then if you rebuy it, so I guess I am saying something. If you buy that stock, you, you, you don't, for tax purposes, get to write off the loss. And so that's why I'm sticking with 1150 for those 400 shares. Anyway, that's all I have for today. I'm loving this strategy. I, I heard it from first from I, I've I've been in options for years, but I didn't really consider this as a passive income option until I uh, I saw Andrew Lokenouth on Twitter, a friend of mine, fluent in finance, um, blowing up like crazy. Good guy, really good guy. Um, I saw him talk about it and got me really excited about it. And I, I've been. I've been working hard, busting my butt, trying to do whatever I can. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section of this video. I hope this all makes sense. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up, and I will see you in another video. Peace.